Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Rope where I'm just going to share with you um, some helpful hints for you to be able to complete your water cycle comic strip. So you should have your water droplet character from Friday. Um, actually, I think you did that Thursday. And then this chart that you completed and turned in on Friday. That was Friday. So I gave you one example um, of a phase change. So part of the water cycle, condensation, gas to liquid. So my character, Walter, the water vapor molecule, the molecules slow down, move closer together to other water molecules, so it condenses on the outside of the glass. So your job on Friday was to think of four steps of your character, what your character, um, your character's journey through the water cycle, what that would look like. Okay, and you want to include some phase changes. There may not always be phase changes. Maybe your water droplet character falls from the sky as precipitation as rain and it's involved with the runoff. Maybe it runs down a hill or it joins other water molecules in a puddle. So that's not a phase change, but that's something that happens in your comic strip and you can include that as well. So what you can do, I gave you some resources um, in the Google Classroom today. So I shared with you a final draft that looks like this, and this is pre-formed, this is pre-done for you. So all the boxes are already drawn. These are the conversation bubbles. You can simply draw your characters in, and I would first start with pencil, um, and then add color with markers or colored pencils. So if you're able to print this off, if you have a printer, and you like how this is arranged, you can just use this and, you know, do a good job. You're going to be scientific, but yet creative. Okay, think about you being the water droplet. You're the water droplet, you're the character, and you're describing your journey through the water cycle. All right, so if you don't have a printer or you don't like how this is set up, okay, for you, you can always draw your own. Okay, so all you need is a piece of printer paper. And if you don't have printer paper, just a piece of loose leaf, just do a very good job if you're using loose leaf. So just like how this one was set up, this one has three rows. Okay, you wanna stick with the three rows, um, but if you want your first row to be one big box, okay, very nice and neat with a ruler. Okay, mine's not very nice and neat. You want yours to be very nice and neat. Use a ruler, I'm just trying to do it quickly. And then maybe you want two boxes right here, okay? And maybe another big box for that third row. So you can always draw your own boxes. Just be as nice and neat as possible. And then what you can do is if you have a printer, you can print out these conversation bubbles. But if you don't have a printer, you can just hold a piece of paper up to the computer screen, or you can just freehand draw them on your comic strip. Right? Just make sure um, it would be a good idea to write first and then draw the conversation bubble around it just in case um, you have, just so you have enough room for both the bubble and what you're trying to write. Okay, so you can draw your boxes. You can print out the boxes already drawn for you. You can draw in the conversation bubbles or you can trace them from the computer and cut them out, or if you can print these out, okay, the possibilities are open there for you. All right, but just a couple more things. Somewhere you wanna glue your uh, water droplet character right into your comic strip. So maybe you wanna introduce him at the very beginning and you would make him fit somewhere. So you're planning, make sure you plan a spot for um, you to glue your water drop a character right into your comic strip. All right, and then make sure you say by your name somewhere on the front, okay, so I can always see who, who did it. And just some extra information, and this is also in the slideshow, just some things to, to keep in mind when completing your comic strip. So at least two conversation bubbles. You'll probably have more than that. So this is just the minimum. Okay, you'll probably have more bubbles. Okay, but at least two. Okay, at least one phase change. So my example on the worksheet was condensation. You just want, need one example of a phase change. Maybe your phase change can be evaporation. 
or transpiration or condensation, making a cloud. And then at least two steps from your chart. And the chart, at least two steps and one phase change. Remember a step, one of these steps, it doesn't have to be a phase change. Like I said, maybe it's, it's raining and the water is falling from the sky and it's going down into the soil, percolation. Okay, so that's a step, but it's not a phase change. Okay, so two bubbles, one phase change, two steps from the chart. Make sure to take a really clear picture, a really clear picture of your comic strip. Use good lighting, um, shine some light onto it or take it near a window um, so I can really see and really read um, what you wrote there and attach it to, to the activity, to the assignment. And I really look forward to reading them. All right, just remember scientific, be artistic, be creative, add some color. Do as neat a, neat a job as you can. And I look forward to reading them. Okay, I'll see you next time.